What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy, Ooch. <gasps> I'm with my brother, Ooch. <laughs> and our guest, finally, he is here. The homie, Roxo the Savage. <laughs> and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. <laughs> We are back, and we are back again once again for the Full Power Podcast, and I'm here with the video version, finally, for YouTube. I'm sorry for Spotify. I mean, you guys can't see anything right now, but, you know, that's kind of... And check YouTube. Yes. Hey, see? The guest already knows, so we're going to get into the guest in just a second. Brother Uj, how you doing today, sir? How you feeling? I'm good. You already know the vibes, and you know. <laughs> high, high vibrations you, you feeling good. sky sky's blue green grass is green right grass is green no trees right now you know? no trees none no trees okay no. No. okay no leaves uh, on the yeah trees. no not 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 by where you're at i got a bunch of leaves over here yeah 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 mm. so our boy the savage himself papa pokin i know we're talking dragon ball today but let me let me get the accolades right for y'all this guy, he's not just a pillar. He is one that lifts and carries communities on his back. Ladies and gentlemen, Rocks of the Savage, how you doing today, sir? I am ecstatic to be on here finally. It's, it's been a long time, like you said, so. It's been a long time since I've done anything like video or just in general with you guys, so I'm, I'm stoked. Especially what we're talking about. Brandon, I hope you're ready. Because we are going to be on a tear against Ducci today. <laughs> I don't know. If, honestly, I don't think we're going to be on too much of a tear. But we'll see what happens, okay? Because usually this guy, Brother Ucci, okay, he's out here constantly saying what he does about Gohan. So there you go. So that's that's the, the talk of the town. That is the main, the, the main course. And this is what I've been kind of hyping up for weeks and weeks and weeks now so oh and just a uh, quick food for thought if you're wondering where the episode was last week well there wasn't one because obviously it was like the christmas break or you know christmas new year's i was actually with brother ooch for the first time since the summertime so i didn't want to like kind of scramble and try to get anything to you know happen for last week and funny enough i wouldn't have been able to anyway because my computer back home shit the bed so it is what it is it's crazy i don't know how these things constantly happen to me but that is the nature of <laughs> that's my why you luck. moved yeah right get well, out of that shit, listen you know? no i didn't get out of it at all because this computer i'm using right now is like my third one since i've been here for well, a listen, year and change yeah finally right you got it right so neither we're neither here nor there now we're here with a brand new episode of full power podcast Got the final guess, and oh, obviously we'll uh, address the elephant in the room right now. Unfortunately, Kai is not with us today. Man's got stuck in his city, and I guess his ride or whatever kind of flaked on them. So Kai is uh, unfortunately couldn't join us. So we're gonna have to do this again, okay? So that way the four of us can be here because that was the intended, but. The show must go on, unfortunately, and, you know, I'm on a very tight schedule. I got plenty of content going on, and this new year is going to bring uh, a bunch of new things that I'm going to be trying with YouTube shorts, TikTok, using up Instagram and whatnot, in addition to this YouTube and every, all the stuff that you guys probably already know me for doing as, as, as it goes. So, without further ado, how do you want to start this off, Rock? How you want to start this off? You want to start by saying something? You want to get this man, brother Ooch, like fired up? Because I will actually, I will actually, I'm sorry. I will actually start by saying this. It was confirmed today. Now, I didn't watch the video, okay? But I just saw the tweet. It was confirmed today that Gohan and Piccolo are, in fact, the main focal points of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. Oh, my god congratulations i can't believe it i would have never seen it coming and guess what i don't fucking care <laughs> i don't care okay they All ruined right. gohan from the cell saga and i'm still salty about it and let me tell you something let me tell you something okay i 
it's it's kind of weird brandon i'm gonna ask you you're on you share the same stance with me that teen gohan was a shit everything else after that just ruined the character right or, or am i am i alone on this you ain't alone bud <laughs> thank you thank you, you. Ain't alone. thank you so let me tell you something moochie okay. i recently got sick and I think I told you this. I was just watching Dragon Ball Z abridged. And I know, yeah, abridged, all oh, cool. I mean, some people may like it and some people don't. But I personally love it. And I think it tells the story in a much better, like, well-written way. Obviously, it's for parody and comedy. But it, like, gets the main points across. Yeah. And I think the main thing that I got out of it is, like, if I'm going to show... If I'm going to show my kids when I have them anime... Especially Dragon Ball, I'm gonna show them the abridged version. The abridged version had a much better writing for one scene in particular, the Android 16 scene, where oh. he speaks to Gohan and gets his head yeeted. Gohan. Like, <laughs> Gohan. <laughs> but yeah, bro, that that I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's, how do you feel about like updated stuff, Uchi? Well, to um to you know to bring everybody up to speed, I've been an advocate to say the least for gohan's character okay mm -hmm. um the things that he's done his accolades not 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 trying to shit on anything that he's he's done there because he's had he's had some great feats and he's he's had a bunch of come-ups despite his you know his downfall with his you know huge downfall well right right his huge downfall as as a character right because like i've said in plenty of other episodes before this one is that gohan is a character that is completely different of his father and you could probably even say different from other average saiyans okay saiyans are known to be you know a very you know you know yes yes like they, they are a warrior race they're always trying to fight and get stronger and they're always about their th this violence right but the, th the funny thing is and it actually kind of runs in the family even going back to bardock there's always been a soft spot in this family tree and it got passed down to goku clearly which a lot of people would have assumed that gine the mother of goku right everyone would have thought that she would have been the one to pass on that soft spot straight but it actually started with Bardock, and now we have Gohan, the the the, the man of the hour, right? Mm -hmm. This guy is someone that I'm not even gonna lie. I've been enjoying talking about him again because I kind of forgot how <laughs> I kind of forgot how funny my brother's reactions are to how he feels about Gohan. So I feel I, I wanna I want to hear what your brother has to say about Gohan. I want to hear how if his if his uh, immense rage that he's pent up and built up over the years of Gohan matches mine. So I want to hear what do you actually have to think about what as a Gohan, a Gohan as a whole character. I want to hear what you have to say about it. He's a scrub, basically. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, basically, the reason why I state this this uh this. Let, 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 let's be clear here, all right? All right? <laughs> Gohan's teen, teenage form, whatever we want to call him, you know. He was actually Super ten, Saiyan. but you know. Yeah, they, yeah. They just, yeah. You know, they just do whatever yeah. they want, you know. So that was his best. That was his best stage. And then you can even argue a little bit of like, I guess, the Buu saga when he was like Ultimate Gohan and shit like that, because he was still respectable, you know. You yeah. still, he'll still, he was still in range to become like Go what Goku is right now. Um, but then guess what? Man's decided to settle down, you know, get a job for who knows what, cause your boy has Hercule on the side. Man, man, just throwing on fucking bread and shit, man. Like, <laughs> like keep it simple. Like, that this man didn't need no job. He's saving the world. Like, if you if you really put in it like that. Cause like him him settling down in the long run, basically like de demolished his character and made him I guess a he wasn't he wasn't a father he's not a fatherly figure yet. Well, technically he is now in Super, right? Um, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. But fuck all that shit. Goku's been a dad for years since the <laughs> beginning. 
That's no excuse. What is what is this? What is, like, nah, nah, man. Nah, I, I hear mean, you. yeah, like, I, I, I don't know what, I don't know what they, they can't do shit for Gohan, honestly. I, I don't, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. That's my stance too. Like he, yeah, he could be the main focal point with Piccolo in this new movie. It's still not going to redeem Gohan as a character in any regard. You so the beauty of Gohan's character up until the teens, like un, up until the Cell Saga ending to whatever the fuck after, was that he was yeah he was different from his father. He wasn't his father. He shared same traits as like the humans of the world. And it was very pacifistic. It was like he was keeping up with training with all of them, yet he didn't like fighting. He didn't like training. He had to because he was forced into it. And I can understand that he didn't want to, he may not want to do it in the future. However, there's a level of responsibility and that Goku kind of put onto him. And it wasn't like put on in a sense of like, oh, fulfill my dreams and stuff. It was just like, making him as strong as he can be his potential his goku being a dad doing something right for the first time in a million years i know but like oh no that's goku, an old man I, I know i know that's i know like way I know. too old that's, i know no one even I says know. that anymore i know i know it's it's an old me but he did something right in saying that he wanted the best out of his son and he got that in cell he got that with super saiyan 2 gohan like that shit was so good and then after like it was obviously like super saiyan one gohan in cell saga was still he didn't want to fight but when shit hit the fan and android 16 in a better version freaking called him out for being a coward like it's that's it like everybody doesn't want to fight no one wants to fight no except for the freaking saiyans which they're crackheads about it but that's besides the point Right. Like, everybody wants to just, like, chill and have a normal life. Even Vegeta, he had a kid, you know? Two. And it's like, there was better ways. There was better ways to make adult Gohan dope. In the Boo Saga, I will agree with you, Brennan. He did have his moments, especially, like, when he came back and showed his arrogant side. Like, y you know that was an arrogant side when... Go Teen Gohan was like watching, looking at Cell after he freaking Kamehameha him the first time, and Cell was like disfigured and shit. Like that, like he was like he was looking at it, he wanted to rip the wings off a butterfly essentially. You know, he was just like I want to torture this dude. It's a very sane trait, but he had that same kind of arrogance going into the Boo Saga uh, against Super Boo, and it was dope to see that kind of come back. But he didn't grow from it, and he got yeeted immediately. Which was kind of dumb, if you ask me. You know what the crazy? Like he could have saved the world again, but <laughs> he failed. He failed yeah. because of his arrogance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so let me bring it back, okay? Because you guys made a lot of points, right? But I will always say this: as a fan of anything, right? We cannot stray far from how things are written, okay? And when it comes to characters specifically, we have to really pay attention to how these characters are written and how these characters act and how these characters react, right? And with all that in mind, obviously we're talking about Gohan, right? But... The thing with 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 Gohan is that he had his build up from Raditz all the way until his big hurrah moment, his his character defining moment in Cell. Because let's be honest, everybody remembers Gohan for that moment. And and for someone like me who recently actually through Geekdom, shout out to Geekdom he was streaming he's been streaming episodes of dragon ball z on his twitch doing live commentary breaking things down as they happen and because of that i got to re-watch and re-live those moments he was recently playing those gohan episodes and it's so crazy how i always thought and i feel like i said this in the last episode that we recorded but i i always remember him 
defeating Cell with the help of Goku. The only help Goku provided was the morale, the words of wisdom, the motivation that he needed. Encouragement, yeah. Exactly, right? And Gohan being a young boy at this time, okay? He was the strongest character in the story at that point. And that is amazing. And listen, if you're a Gohan fan, if you're watching this, you're listening to this, and you're still there and you're holding out hope, all right, for this redeeming whatever, you know, redeeming Gohan. Listen, I just want you to know that Gohan and his and this idea of redemption is not a thing because what is there to redeem he did what he would what, what, <laughs> mm -mm. he mm -mm. did no 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 he did what he was meant to do he protected everybody he saved the world he defeated cell and he was the strongest at this time and after he was defeated they had peace for seven years this is literally almost the duration of the 10 year gap that we're waiting for for super to be done 10 years right seven to ten that's that's close okay it's all off by three okay seven years they had all this peace and naturally because gohan was all about this peace and he was all about you know that that kind of lifestyle the good vibes you know brother Ucha out here freaking green grass is green sky is blue that's what gohan was all about and he got that after he defeated cell they had no problems and it was only up until you know his high school days the great saiyan man days you know the little kids when they started to come in they had no real threats so what was there to train for what was what what purpose did he have to you know to to even try to be stronger that part of gohan is something that a lot of fans love to kind of fan fictionalize and write that part in themselves mentally because they're always like you know like if this then that well yeah obviously but that's not the character the character of gohan has always been a very cheerful happy-go-lucky kind of kid who looked up to his father but saw things differently and he didn't always want to fight he was thrown into those situations because i mean being a natural saiyan being able to fight you know he is his father's son he's got that ability but at the end of the day who's the one that wants to go out of their way to get stronger to train and to fight more people that are stronger than them goku not gohan that is the thing that people tend to forget and it happens I, but go ahead i i hear you i i through your entire rebuttal i have three points that look you at, made look at that face. I, look, look at his I, face <laughs> i want to rebuttal all right ahead, so there's a there i'm gonna go through them the first one is Going by the source, which is you're incurring the manga, I assume, right? I'm incur. Well, obviously we always reference the manga, but we're obviously referencing the anime as well because we we could say on track. We could say it's the anime we're talking about here. Okay. So yeah. with the anime, how that happened, and whether it's like based off the manga or not, um, the creator of Dragon Ball, uh, I don't want to botch his name, but I think Akira Toriyama. Akira Toriyama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there was an interview that stated that he planned to continue Dragon Ball Z with Gohan being the main guy. With Goku being off, he's done. That's it. However, however, Japan, the Japanese audience, wanted Goku to be the guy. So if we're gonna go off source, the source was originally intended for Gohan, but it never happened because the Japanese audience has more say than the American audience with the Western and audience, which dude, is fine. Dude, that is facts, and it hurts in a lot it of hurts. other things. It hurts. Yeah. And it, it, in anime, in like in manga continuation and stuff, yeah, it hurts. So that's the first thing. If we're gonna go based off that, Gohan was supposed to be the guy. It was written in the stars, and then Japan audience said yeet. So that's the first thing. 
The second thing, you want to say that there's no redemption for uh, adult Gohan? You want to say that after when he freaking had to go Super Saiyan and he struggled like a freaking, like, <laughs> bro, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like, what are you struggling to go Super Saiyan for? Oh, because you haven't done it in years? Well, no shit. You haven't done it in years. You're struggling because you haven't done anything in years. That's like someone who like used to work out in high school and did absolutely jack shit until they're like age 40 and then they expect them to freaking like lift a freaking plate or two like it's not gonna happen it's you're gonna struggle to do it you're gonna really struggle you're gonna break all your bones to freaking do that shit there's redemption because he did not train and it's just basic shit it's like it's stuff that he was ingrained <laughs> with it was stuff that he was training with piccolo i mean it was it was kind of very abusive training i'll say ah, that okay yeah, it was yeah, it was yeah. unconditional it was he unconditional had a rigorous training regimen yeah 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 pretty rigorous but it was still training like that should be ingrained in you that should be that shouldn't even be a habitual that should just be a lifestyle to at least keep yourself in shape in case so, so if you want to be a father you see the freezes guys come down what you haven't been training in years you're gonna go over there and just freaking die like yancha did and almost like you know, there's no point even bothering with it at that point there's no point right and third point i kind of forgot what it was honestly but i think you were uh <sighs> fuck i'm gonna come back to it but brandon right. do you have anything about those two or anything to say about what uchi said or what i said he to add care. on well I i'm sure well, well, as far as the, the Piccolo-Gohan relationship, Piccolo was the coach nobody wants because of <laughs> how rigorous the training was. And mm -hmm. Gohan, I mean, he, he stood up to the plate because, I mean, Piccolo goddamn near fucking left him by himself with, like, dinosaurs and shit. <laughs> so, I mean, man really had to survive on his own. But that's what got that him... That some Leonidas that, shit. That's what got him, like... That's what that's what made him like more independent in a sense, but I mean, as far as the redemption, I don't see redemption. Look, look who they facing in the movie, man. Fucking ex Ginyu Force, man. Like sec <laughs> sec sec secondary him. Ginyu Force. Like, see, I didn't even see the trailer. I don't even know. So you're telling me ex Ginyu Force shit, nah, and, nah, and that's him. supposed to be like a challenge? <laughs> like, bro, bro, these guys like Goku looks like he could fucking do the the fucking flick. <laughs> Yeah, the they're not they're not kids. actually from the Ginyu Force, but he calls them like as stance. if they are from. Yeah. Cuz there's a picture of like when you watch the trail the latest the latest trailer, the uh pose that they have of all the characters in the shot, the two hero characters that they're ultimately fighting against in this movie take like a very Ginyu Force kind of, you know, pose, but okay. That's why he calls them Ginyu Force. So there's not they're not actually like ex Ginyu Force. That'd be kind of hilarious if they if they if they ended up actually being that, but no, they're not. You see, like I, I don't I don't see this movie re like having a like redemption meaning towards Gohan because like sure they're they're probably gonna make him finish the job essentially in this movie. Um whether he kills them or I guess puts them away, whatever whatever they're gonna do. But I, I don't see Gohan fucking killing him. That's number one. Number two, like, what else? Like, I just don't see it because, like, how strong are these guys, first of all? Depending on how strong they are really will entail if Gohan can even catch up, in a sense, to anywhere near Goku or Vegeta's level. Vegeta's level at the minimum. Because then, if he can then he will be kind of back on par within the group but right now like this man this man's entering the gym after like fucking years <laughs> so so if you want to put it like that hypothetically like this man this man's this man was able to lift fucking like 225 on bench and now he's back down to 135 man like <laughs> put, it, put it like that now he's retraining mm -hmm. he's like come on that's what i gotta say about gohan man like i don't see it Okay, I so, so here's all right. So here's some more stuff for you guys, right? Okay, yeah. So now that all of that is obviously out there, right? The whole idea of redemption, 
The only real thing that I guess if you want to use that term and relate it to Gohan, the only way that applies is if Gohan himself has the the the, the self-realization. It's not even a redemption. It is about self-realization and that will then add to his character development okay his character growth because okay remember we all know how this character was i already established it with what i said before he's you know a very peaceful kind of guy he's not like his father but at one point in the story he was the strongest character out of all of them he is the one who ultimately defeated cell it wasn't off of any kind of assists or anything like that because might i also Remind I mean, you there guys, was a, there was kind of an assist. No, 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 like, no. Listen, listen, sell, listen. But yeah. listen, listen. Though, like I said, I recently watched those episodes again. It's been years, and I'm glad I did recently. Okay, Geekdom made this abundantly clear. Nothing that any of these characters did, like Tien, Yamcha, Krillin, Piccolo, Vegeta, Trunks, and Goku. Nothing. Either of these guys could have done would have done anything for Cell. They they the, the, they wrote this arc for Gohan. This is Gohan's character defining moments during this Cell saga, that tournament, whatever, you know? And even when they all tried to throw in a beam or something, uh, 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 some sort of attack while they were doing the Kamehameha, dude, Cell was just annoyed. It did nothing. It didn't even, it didn't help Gohan at all. What helped Gohan was Goku telling Gohan to not worry about the planet. Stop holding back. He had to tell this guy, that's how strong he was. He had to tell him, don't hold back. Just do it now, Gohan. Just like, you know, like the 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 fame. Look, Brandon knows what I forget talking. You see him getting hyped right now? Listen, that those famous words that he uttered is what really set Cell in his place. And for that time, Gohan was the strongest. Okay? But time passed. Times have changed. While Goku was gone for those seven years, my man was uncovering super saiyan 3 okay when all of this stuff unfolded with boo and they took gohan to unlock his hidden potential he became ultimate gohan even that wasn't enough for the likes of super boo because super boo was that much greater in strength and everything during this amount of time not but no but think about it he the, he he defeated him to the point where he could at least absorb him. Gohan was out. Deaded. D you, hold on. Out, out of the fight. He was out of the fight. He was out of the fight because he got caught off guard because he was too cocky. Well, yeah. well, yeah. that yeah. listen, a cockiness is a weakness. You're okay? right. You're right. And but... he wasn't cocky during Cell when he was finishing him off. I'll tell you that much. This is this is the character we're talking about. This is this is Gohan in in, in full. Okay? So what I'm getting at now is you fast forward even beyond Boo, right? And there's even a little bit, not as long, not, there's definitely not as long of a time of peace that they had. I mean, they had a little bit of a cool down between Boo and when they met uh, Beerus and Whis. But realize what changed. Goku and Vegeta got abundantly, ridiculously stronger. No one has to worry about anything. No one really has to do anything because Super has been the Goku and Vegeta show and it still is in the manga. And that's just, that's the unfortunate truth. And because of that, what is Gohan going to do? Obviously, they brought him in for the tournament of power, but, and this is where I remind you guys, because I'm sure you guys forgot about this. There was an episode where Gohan says to Goku, he goes, I'm going to find my own path to power. I'm not going to take the same route as you, dad, or Vegeta. I'm going to figure something out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he said that. But he, he did said say that. that. I and remember that episode. I was and with you. Right. And they haven't revisited that moment since. The last solo moment Gohan even had in Super was those filler Great Saiyan Man episodes, which I'm a fan of. I love me some Great Saiyan Man, okay? 
And uh, I Brandon doesn't think so. He does not think so. Yeah. See. Yeah. Uh, all right. It's it's kind of like how Android 17 was like keeping that hit Android 17's kind of version of like training. Even though he don't really need a fucking train, but like his version of training was keeping like the park that he's taking care of in <laughs> shape and shit. Like Gohan doing Great Saiyan Man was like at least something because. Without the Great Saiyan Man, at least he had something. He was still doing something. He was still fighting people. But, like, obviously it wasn't, like, top-tier opponents, you know? It was just some freaking ragtag, freaking people with rocket launchers, apparently, in the city. Because you could just get those in West City or whatever city he was, like, defending. You might, you might but as well like, call those side quests. <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> you might as well. Yeah. Side well, quests. But that's the thing right there, is that... We're at a point in the overall story of Dragon Ball where the characters and the new characters that are getting involved are levels of strength beyond even Cell. Like, we're talking godly kind of levels now, okay? And Gohan has never hit that yet, okay? I still think if they want to which i feel like they should and they don't have to i'm not saying they're gonna go on go ultra instinct i'm not saying that okay yeah it's gonna go go on blanco which is ultra instinct <laughs> 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 right but i'm gonna say this and that with this new movie okay this is the first step that people need to realize that needs to be taken if you ever want this guy to be and i will translate for all those that don't understand redeemed okay everyone that thinks uh, he needs he doesn't really need redemption however he needs the self-realization he needs the moment where he realizes that you know what if my dad and vegeta are on god levels of power and they're dealing with and handling all these types of foes that may come our way you know whether it's near or far they're gonna be able to handle that but in case something happens here i gotta make sure that i can protect my own and i think with pam's involvement there is going to be that self-realization. It's probably going to be between Piccolo and Pan. That's going to really... It's going to click for Gohan. And he's going to really be like, you know what? I'm going to quit my job for Brother Uch. We're already rich. I don't need to work. We have a very fair life as it is. We don't really have to worry about anything. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to start taking training seriously again... And at the same time, he could even start training Pan too. He could be what Piccolo... I mean, Piccolo could also do... You know, that's Piccolo's role. You know what I'm saying? But how nice would that be? The three of them. You know what I'm saying? Doing that 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 kind of stuff. Meanwhile, Goku and Vegeta are off planet training with Broly and all that kind of stuff. Like, keep the godly level stuff to them. But this could reawaken this, you know, this this potential or whatever that he was alluding to in Super during that episode where he might it might it might take him to really think about what he's fighting for who he's fighting for and then everybody will go home happy i'm sure but i have to ask you guys this now that i've said all that what do you guys want out of gohan realistically you want to go first or you want me to go first i uh, yeah. So what do you mean by realistically? I need, I need a little more information. Okay, so, you know, like, given the nature of how everything has been, you know, with Dragon Ball overall, now we're in Super, and with Super, he, or they, you know, Vegeta and Goku, they are the, like, the, the, the main characters. It's been all about them. They've been handling all of the big bads that have come their way. You know, they, ultimately, it was up to, like, Vegeta put some put some a couple i would say he put some dents into uh jiren when they had to fight him in the tournament of power then goku took it took 17 frieza and goku to just knock him off okay i feel like there's there's some uh there's a there's a rematch event yeah. eventually gonna happen there's gotta be a rematch okay but and then you know and then they had to deal with broly it took the two of them to fuse to take care of him 
and now Moro. And now in the manga, it's the literally the strongest in the universe. Okay, they have been writing themselves into these corners. Like they, they, I don't know how much further in a corner they could write themselves in because now you have characters that are already being called the strongest in the universe. Point blank. Due to a yeah. wish. Due to a wish, but it happened and they have to deal with it, right? So with all of this now, right? And how the story, how everything has kind of just changed overall. The landscape of Dragon Ball is not how it used to be back in Z days. What do you really want from Gohan? Do you want him to be on that level that Goku and Vegeta are on? Do you want him to be their equal? Do you want him to go further beyond that? You see, realistically, right? I, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I could say that Gohan will ever surpass Goku or Vegeta at this point just because of how far back he is. But, I mean, if they want to, you know, make him quit his job and and uh, <laughs> basically fulfill training, like as the, the, the main importance of him protecting Pan, Piccolo, the whole fam, the the planet in itself if goku and vegeta aren't around then they can ride him that way too but like he's i feel like he's so far behind like he would have to have some real hardcore training with fucking like goku whether whether it's goku vegeta or even like beers and, and the gods or some shit like he's gonna have to do something like outside the box like he's him training with Piccolo and Pan is not gonna catch him up, realistically. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like the rigorous training that Piccolo did back in the day is not gonna work on this Gohan. Like he's too old. Like may not even work on Pan. Like bro. Honest. Like honestly. Like I don't know how strong Piccolo is, bro. But like I'll I'll just make Gohan Piccolo's equal just because he can go fucking Super Saiyan two, and. I don't even know if he can go ultimate anymore, but if he can, then technically he should be stronger than Piccolo. But Piccolo's always fucking mastermind training and shit, so I wouldn't be surprised if Piccolo fucking could still whip his ass low-key. But, like, hmm. like I can't, like, I, I don't know what they could really do with Gohan, but, I mean, as far as expectations, like, out, like, after this movie, like, I would probably say, like... This could be the startup, I'll say, for him training if Goku and Vegeta aren't going to be around. And he's literally, like, he's he has to be the guy. But, like, he, I don't know what type of training he's going to be doing. Like, because whatever that line he pulled out of his ass in the fucking in the anime is saying yeah. he's going to find his own path to, to become stronger and shit or on, like, Goku and Vegeta's level. Like, like, what else is there? to do like for him to arise to the occasion like as far as him training like you know you feel me like the top like like you gotta really think about it because like what else hasn't he done he's already done like hardcore training like piccolo he's done like i'll say mindset training just because that's what he did to achieve ultimate form like whenever he was with the kais or whatever mm -hmm. and then like like what like what is he gonna he's gonna go back to that again i think he didn't he kind of low-key try that i forget. i don't I, remember i feel like he did like but like i don't and i forget in what, super yeah in super i i low-key feel like he went back to that type of train like whenever he said that line or some shit like before he said that i feel like he 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 was like going back to that a little bit but like regardless of that like He's already done the mindful training. He's done physical training. Like the next step is honestly like for him to start getting used to like God tier powers or some shit like that because that's what we're fighting. And like, yeah, bro. Like Goku and Vegeta are just so far off the scale, bro. Like he, like I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like that's out of my department as far as speculations or like assumptions as far as what he can do to train outside the box his way not nothing like goku and vegeta because like goku and vegeta they went outside the box like they start they trained with gods to get to where they are like 
what's better yeah. than training with gods? The fucking the the the, the angels. Who's <laughs> 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 that? Like, on himself, pretty much, right? Yeah. I I got I gotta say, man. He like, don't even have connections with them. Goku got that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got a like this... he literally has the button. What? Oh yeah, Goku, Goku has a button. Remember, Goku has the Goku, button to Goku summon can, them. Goku oh, summon Zeno? Yeah, he has the button. <laughs> true, very true. He has a button. I'll say this. There's no... I don't want anything from Gohan. Listen. Gohan, with half Saiyan and half human blood, was supposed to be the strongest in the universe in Cell Saga. Or strongest, like, character, I guess, in the... In the scope of the universe at that time which was in just that like, yeah in that time yeah. he was the yes. strongest yes. he was the strongest and on top of that he was projected to be strongest period that's like, it and right. than anyone else and that's with half same blood now i don't know how diluted it gets when you go quarter but this is what i want from gohan i want him to stand there Call Beerus and say, Beerus, can you come down for one second? And then Beerus comes down. He's like, what's good, Gohan? And then Beerus and Gohan's just like, Hakai me, please. Get me out of this freaking universe because I don't belong here. I don't deserve to be here anymore. I have done my time. My time has passed. I'm not going to get anywhere good. Just get Pam into the gods and then have Pam be better than fucking Goku and Vegeta because apparently Half-Blooded half Saiyan was going to be the strongest in the universe. Now, I don't know how diluted it gets when it gets quarter blood, but I'm pretty sure Pam can probably go Super Saiyan and we'll probably see a glimpse of some kind of freaking Super Saiyan or some kind of power up or some kind of lead up into Super Saiyan or maybe ultimate form. She may be unlocked since a childbirth. Who freaking knows from ultimate form Ooh. Gohan? Who knows? But I just want him to get hakai That's what I want from Gohan. Gohan is irredeemable at this point. I literally <laughs> skeeved. I skeep every time that Gohan enters a picture because I just see a wasted talent. Oof, oof. I see someone who wasted their talents, who was going to be the strongest and said, no, I'm going to literally just sidetrack the entire freaking past 10, 11 years of my life and just start living peaceful. Well, guess who's going <laughs> to keep the peace when some big ass motherfucker comes down from the sky and says, I'm going to kill you all. No, not you, because you haven't been training. Who, Piccolo? No. Who, go on? Go, Vegeta. Vegeta, wait, was he alive at the end of Boo? Yeah, he was alive. Yeah, right? they, uh, yeah, they gave him his life back after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? You could have that. You could have that, Vegeta. But back then, if Boo wasn't around, there was going to be no one. There was going to be no one. There was going to be no one that would be able to stop them because Gohan stopped training. I just want him to get hakai <laughs> Yeah, no, I he's, in like, he's in the toughest situation because, like, I don't know, like... I Brandon made good points. Know, he's bro. just not, he's not, he's not going to get up to God level. Like, no. if he wanted to really start taking it serious and shit, like, he's, he's going to have to go even further outside the box. Not just outside the box, like... I don't know. He's gonna have to be doing some crazy intense training, like maybe some shit. Even go train with Jiren. Hasn't even to, huh? Train with train with Jiren. <laughs> like that's the, that's the closest thing I could that, see. That that that's the closest thing. But he would have to go to a whole nother universe, right? And does he, he even would. have the connections to do that? Because go because he's not on Goku's connection list. <laughs> Goku got <laughs> Goku got that. They, there's two different levels to this shit. Goku literally has all the connections just because <laughs> of who he's beat, who he's challenged, who he's fought, etc. Mm -hmm. And who has who he has met like throughout the adventure because his passion is basically training, getting stronger, protecting himself and the planet slash mm -hmm. family. If you want to argue that, um, I mean, but. Like literally, Go Gohan's mindset, and ever since after Boo, I will I will say like his mindset has literally just been like minding his own business with his family and shit, whatever the case may be. Like he's not he's not doing anything to train. So like he and and the, I think the reason why that is is because he probably just low key sees that not even low key high key that Goku and Vegeta got on lockdown. 
So like literally they like literally for him to give a shit, like they will have to exit. Whether they die. But like you gotta put it you gotta make it realistic though, cause if even if they die, like he's not gonna be on par. Like unless they literally like just give this man the greatest power up of all time after years of no training. Like like it's what? Not- like like that in that that would not make sense because like how you gonna how you gonna be on like no disgrace to piccolo or whatever but how you gonna be on like piccolo's level right for this is just an example how you gonna be on piccolo's level goku vegeta die to whatever whoever villain whatever and then he gets a huge power up like just out of nowhere no training nothing like no no results like 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 you got you gotta make it make sense at the end of the day like there's gotta be stuff like leading, like leading in for this buildup, whatever they're trying to fucking there's, do. There's gotta be more than just this movie that also has Pam in it and is gonna have some kind of freaking plot device as Pam, and have Piccolo and Gohan be the main leads in order to have Gohan ascend to a certain level. There's not much we want from Gohan because we don't expect it. There's Honestly, abs- bro, it's like... unrealistic expectations for Gohan. That's like. What it is. It's unrealistic, and the only and the only thing I can see happening, kind of, for the like for the future, whatever, is if Pan, wait, Pam, Pan, Pam, Pan, 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 Pam, with an N, with an N, with an N, Pan, with an N, okay, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So Pan, right? Like, the, <sighs> this is the only possibility I could see him ever like taking training seriously, is if Pan is so interested in fighting and training that he himself gets back into the groove because he doesn't want her to get involved into some of these fights just because she's young and shit like she right. he doesn't want her to go what i guess he went through as a kid so That's- that in itself would make him more inclined to start taking training very seriously to to even potentially catch up to where goku vachita is like that 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 is the only possibility I would give Gohan, and I mean this movie might display that just because I guess we we Goku Vegeta elsewhere with Broly I guess in this case, or I yeah. don't know if yeah yeah I'll just I'll just leave it. Was it, at it that, confirmed? But... Yeah. Was oh confirmed? yeah, because because you haven't watched the trailer, so basically yeah, um, I, I tra- Broly is literally in two frames of the trailer, and you have to pause it and like frame by frame it so you could really see him clear enough in in the shot but he's in the movie um and i uh, alongside a lot of other people are already predicting that the most we're gonna see broly and quite possibly goku and vegeta are literally during their training segments because the movie is not focused around them which i'm very happy for because this is this is what dragon ball needs they need to have these two guys take a back seat because they've been at the forefront for so long to the point where it's like no other characters could match up just like you guys are saying and the funny part is right when i asked what do you guys even want from this guy the answers are so long but basically it all comes down to the nature of the show has to change because right now the nature of the show is surrounding around the two strongest characters that have been holding it down for years and years and years across several different foes villains and what have you so really go i mean gohan has only growth to achieve at this point at at this rate the way it's looking i don't think he's gonna He's gonna he's gonna falter any more the, or any more so than he has. I think that at this point in time in the story especially, he only will have opportunities to realize the self realization. I keep saying that yeah he, he needs to get back to where he once was or even maybe stronger than that because he's got a lot more to fight for. You know, it's one thing to protect your planet. It's another thing to protect your family. Okay, so Saiyans are all about that. You fuck with that shit, you're gonna unlock the next level for them by accident. We've seen that happen plenty of different times. God forbid anything happens to that little girl. Oh, man. 
You see, oh, th and, that's, man. and that's what I'm talking about right there, man. Like, like the moment, like if there's a scary moment, whether it's in the movie or the show, of Pan almost dying, or you know, I'm not gonna say they're gonna kill Pan. <laughs> they're not gonna kill Pan, <laughs> but no, like, wish her back anyway. like there has to be like one of those like moments type of thing to where Gohan like has this spur like this 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 power spur or whatever the case and he unlocks some crazy power of, i don't know but you see i want it to make it fucking make sense because if yeah. it doesn't make sense and what i mean by make it make sense more so like the power he's getting or yes. power up he's getting because like i don't want it to be out of proportion as like because like goku and vichita are just like I said before, far off the scale. So they have to make the power up reasonable. They can't just make him on par, like just off of that. Just yeah. off of one moment. Like, and why do you and why do you think they're fighting who they're fighting in this movie? They're freaking fighting red ribbon army lackeys. Like these guys look like jokes, just like you're saying. They look like Ginyu Force guys. Why do you think they're starting with that? They're not they're fucking they're, bozos. Man. They're not gonna they're they are making it make sense and you don't even realize it. And that's oh, I, I mean, they better. <laughs> I don't know, man. They better. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense, but like, is is he gonna gain a power up out of this, or is he just gonna defeat them, type of thing? Like, you feel me? I, I, yeah, I anticipate some kind of freaking mixture, like how Goku did with Kaioken and Super Saiyan God, uh, Super Saiyan Blue, I should say, that he, that a mixture of Ultimate Form and Super Saiyan. Like that's really the only other way I could see any kind of growth other than the fact that it's just going to be square one at the end of the movie where like Gohan's like, all right, I'm at ultimate form. I got back to this because Pam either almost died or Pam was fighting someone and then she got mad and started fighting someone because I got my ass beat and then Pam's, Pam's fighting someone and she almost dies and then I go ultimate form and I killed the guy. Like, that's really the end of the movie. It's just going to be him starting from either two possibilities. Square one of him going ultimate and then, like, start training from there, I guess. Or start thinking about, oh, I have to protect the world and start training Pan. Or he's going to get some kind of new power-up and I'm still not going to really give a shit. <laughs> you, see, you see, this is the only speculation as far as a new power-up for him going... And this literally just came off the top of my head, just based off what he has already. So, if this man doesn't want any any form of God, like as a power up, like what Goku and Vegeta have, Super God, Super Saiyan God, etc. Like the only other path I see it going for him is a new Ultimate form, or whether it's a new like or a combination of Ultimate and Super Saiyan. Like, they could take it there for him specifically because Goku doesn't have ultimate form. Or Vegeta yeah. doesn't have ultimate form. Technically speaking, just because they didn't go through that that meditation training that the Kais gave to Gohan. So... Page. <laughs> so... <laughs> that, like... And... How much, how much you want to fucking bet, man? If he go, if he goes back to the Supreme Kai for new training or whatever, and uh, at, I don't and want that. I like, tell you that right now, I don't want that. Because how much, how much you want to fuck it? But if <laughs> if he go, if he goes back to the Supreme Kai once he wants to take this training seriously, to gain new power or, or his way and shit like that, watch him ask the Supreme Kai. Is there a, a level beyond the ultimate? So I'm gonna say this really quick because you made some good points, and then I'll add on to that. What I don't want to happen, I don't want him to have hacks. I don't want that. See, because I didn't even like how he got ultimate. Back in the day when I was watching that shit on TV, I was like, man, I'm watching all these episodes. They got all this action going on. We got go tanks fucking fighting. Piccolo's trying to fight. Even they even hyped TN for a little bit. Got bodied, right? Doesn't matter. And then, like, Gohan's just sitting there. Sitting. Literally. Sitting there. Just... Mm -hmm waiting and then old kai's like oh yeah you were done a long time ago you can go fight now man fuck that like that shit's dumb i don't want none of those hacks again i, if I he's agree gonna with find you. something I agree yeah 
if he's gonna find if he's gonna get a new source of power whatever it is new form doesn't matter i want him to discover that shit within himself i want him to unlock that within himself i don't want some higher deity to just flip the fucking switch for him you know like that's dumb now is, uh, yeah yeah like i don't i don't think anyone wants an unearned power up you know like i uh, i would even like argue that super saiyan god was kind of unearned what they do just hold hands with five saiyans and then he became yo, a super saiyan god <laughs> like come on bro like that's some yeah. dumb shit I, I want something unearned and ultimate form was one that seemed as though like compared to the other ways that other people got their power power ups or new transformations like that seemed the most unearned out of like mo most of them i would say but i would like what he i was saying i was thinking like when brandon was going off i was thinking like yeah <laughs> what if he went to the kai's and asked the kai like is there a level like some kind of training more that i can do i need to be stronger so i can protect this world i need to be stronger there has to be something i could do and then he actually gives them some kind of freaking rigorous ass shit if he gives him some rigorous ass shit, or at least implies, because it's probably at the end of the movie, we're probably going to see some kind of like either two things. We're going to see him like, just like chilling, training with Piccolo, or we're going to see him search for a higher, like for more power, for something beyond like the Kai power. Because you got to remember, like Kais are still like deity beings still. Yeah. They're still like yeah. godlike figures. So it's not out of this world that he could still even kind of get, like how he said, I'll choose, I'll get my own way of like getting power. Like maybe it'll go through the Kai's as opposed to the God of Destruction and the Angel. It could I'm be telling, that point. I'm yeah. telling you, it's probably going to lead to what I was saying. Like in some form or way, however they write it, like I feel that since that's the path he wants to go, if they want to do anything further with Gohan, that they're going to... They're going to display some information, intel, whatever you want to say about a, a higher version of the ultimate form. Just because, and when you when you look, you're, you're going to, I don't know if you're going to think the way I'm thinking right now, but I think that ultimate shit is like a rookie version of Ultra Instinct. Logo. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, kind of thinking that. Like, it, that shit, I was just thinking about that shit because. Yeah, me too because you gotta look at the similarities here it's like the aura number one a little bit not too much but a little bit but then it's more so like the fighting style or the, like the like the power like the power that it basically gives the individual like mm. like it made them fight a different way it, it's weird yeah. to explain yeah but he did, he did. that's fair that's fair but like and it gave them in like some crazy ass fucking strength um for the amount of time it took to even get that power so like i don't know like that's that's how i, I see it happening like as far as him gaining a new power up that can potentially rise to the occasion of eventually getting him on par to goku and vegeta if he trains seriously enough and grinds it out like you know what i mean like that's the only that's the only shot i'm giving gohan right there if they could surprise me with some shit then then maybe I'll rethink about Gohan. But I got just, your surprises. It, it, just, it just depends, man. It Listen, just I, depends. I have two ideas that could, could apply for Gohan. And one of them may be predictable. Maybe. Don't really know. But we'll see how the rest of the uh, current arc goes. Right, because this movie is already confirmed to be taking place after this current arc in the manga so oh okay I, you see i have no idea in terms of like what this where this movie is in terms of the continuity between the manga and the movie you know? oh yeah this movie is pretty much i Hanon, think right well no yeah, absolutely everything okay. that they've been doing has been uh toriyama involved so yeah okay. everything's canon right so except for super dragon ball heroes let me, let me just put that out there okay um but uh, this movie, for those that uh, might not know, uh, is taking place after this arc and right before the end of Z. So I'm I'm thinking that this movie might actually be the fucking end that we've been waiting for. Like everything's gonna in the movie's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. But then the end of the movie, I'm I'm praying 
I'm praying that it ends with the oob appearance, the tournament, that scene at the last episode of Z. I hope that happens. And I hope that they retcon maybe some things that are necessary, like, you know, the line that basically puts Super in uh, a plot hole because they apparently haven't seen Goku in five years at the end of Z and all of the events that have happened in super literally passed that threshold already so yeah it's they need to retcon it right they they obviously need to retcon that um but i hope that that's how the movie goes so that way going forward whether it's in the manga or the anime they now give us something in completely new territory because technically super is literally still z whether you like to believe it or not it is what it is but what i wanted to say about gohan as far as his power-ups the possibilities right the one thing is what if he went natural and when i say natural he un he locks into his ozaru shit on some broly stuff right that's something that no one would expect and I'm sure that it was not gonna happen, but it's just an idea, right? Now here's another more realistic thing to kind of put in your mind. I want you guys to remember back to when our boy Trunks was here. My man went Super Saiyan Ikari, AKA Rage. And he essentially had the Super Saiyan, but he had some blue aura to the Super Saiyan. Now that was clearly levels beyond what Trunks has hit at that point in time in the story. I just kind of, the reason why I bring that one up is because Trunks and Gohan have a very like, you know, deep rooted relationship across space and time, literally. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that that would kind of be a nice little nod at that if they both had that similar form that we've never seen anyone else use like that's that's been a trunks exclusive as far as we've seen yeah one of the most unearned power-ups ever yeah what do you mean it was unearned it was going through shit they was fighting freaking goku black zamasu they were struggling and nothing literally... happened that that encouraged him to go all of a sudden mad at that yeah moment. what do you mean what they happened? were dying they were all dying oh they my were god yeah dying. that whole entire freaking arc was and then he died too that was a whole entire arc. That could have just freaking... That, what What freaking difference does it make to Trunks? Oh, like his girl that freaking he liked almost died. And he's just going to go, uh, go uh, Super Saiyan Ikari, whatever freaking called. It's all it Super takes. Super Saiyan. It all takes. All it takes. It's all it and takes. And then he's just like walks. He walks and walks and walks. And that's it. He doesn't really get to kill Zamasu at all. No, but he... He gets he, a well, shit rock. Again, he he did, but he did. Well, that's besides the point. So that's that's just the go. I only bring that up to to to, to relate it to Gohan, right? I, but the I third, yeah. The third thing that I want to bring up, as far as the movie goes, not about power ups. And I guess I'll leave I'll leave it with this. What if? Ugh, this is a stretch. But they said that there was going to be a surprise character in this movie. Now, people are saying that, oh, it's Gohan. Gohan's a surprise, right? They're, they're, they're fucking joking around like, oh, they're mean. It's a Gohan. Yeah, I mean, they I've forgot about Gohan, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> what if there's a surprise character is Cell? What the fuck would he <laughs> have to do with anything? Exactly. That's how He's you dead. fucking get it. But that's how. Listen, I'll bring this up again. In the manga, it's already been confirmed. While the Tournament of Power was going on, Gohan, oh no, I'm sorry, Goten and Trunks were handling Cell Juniors. What? They're still there. They were handling them. I'm not saying like, oh, like what if, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Where was this? In the manga? Yes. Uh, there was a, no there was like a, there, there was like a panel manga. or something that literally showed it was like a little bit it was like a little short that uh that showed what goten and trunks were up to uh taking care of uh 17's like island of the animals and shit oh i and remember I, that okay. and on that island was cell juniors 
So, I mean, listen, we got all this shit. We got all this Gohan talk with all this redeeming and all this shit. What are we going to do? How are we going to make this guy? How are we going to make people care about this guy again? They literally, and you haven't seen the rock soul, but you should. I'll probably link it to you right now in a second. But listen, they even gave him his old haircut back. He's wearing the purple again. Listen. All he has to do is take those fucking. I hope those shits break. And he takes them off. He takes off the glasses. No, it's no, no, already no. In the Forever, trailer. forever. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to see I that. I wholeheartedly that agree. Yeah. That Brand is, is not. That is not it. Not it. But, but if there's, it just won't make sense. Go on. Unless there's some another freaking time thing, but I think they stopped doing time shit. But I'm I believe they stopped doing time shit. You can't like even they're... bring that into the into the equation because, like, like in Trunks's universe, they already killed he killed off Cell over there. So unless well, we're talking about multi universe. No, 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 no! I'm not talking about on none of that stuff. <laughs> Listen, what? No, this is not this is not on some not MCU. Spider Man. Nah, nah, nah. We're not doing any of that stuff right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying, we're, bro. we're talking. We don't because first of all, we don't know. We still don't know what the the motivation of the Red Ribbon Army is. We don't even know what they're doing. We don't even know what these these Ginyu Force looking ass superheroes are even up to. What their purpose is. We don't know nothing of the like yet. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, what if? I mean, okay, this is as far as I go. As far Cell as- Cell is an android, by the as, way, as, as, as a reminder. As far as the speculation goes for this surprise character, whatever the case may be, I'll throw it out there. I'll, I'll say, I'll give it, I'll give it a go. Yeah. So it's like, let's say the, what are they called? The Red Ribbon Army? Yes. Yeah. The Red Ribbon Army, their objective is the Dragon Balls. They uh -huh. wish for somebody. If you want to say sell, you can say sell. <laughs> but that is the easy. That is that is the easiest thing. And if they do that, you can argue that Cell has been training in hell. Oh, he's getting a power up. Oh, like, Super Cell. Ah. Like yo, like that. That's as far as I'll go. Cause otherwise, it won't make sense. Yeah, Cell coming back won't make. I'm in. And I don't know like I, why. Like I said, with time, it just don't. It, like they stop. They said they would stop doing like time skip shit. It's not about the time skipping though. That's what I'm saying. I mean, not this time is... skip. A uh, time like future, past, freaking stuff where the alternate uh, multiverse theory and shit and just uh, like none of that. None of that. None of that. You're gonna tell me that Cell somehow survived Gohan's Omega Father Son Kamehameha no. wave. I'm not saying that at all. Listen. All right. Let me let me let me bring you back, Rock. Let okay. me remind you the show we're talking about. The yeah, show where ahead. death means nothing in Dragon Ball. You could die and still get brought back somehow. Someone will wish. Get look at Frieza. Hello. He he's been dead for so long. Yeah, he was in. He was and in they hell. brought his ass back. No, no, no. It's not about the hell shit. It's literally just. It's just. This is the nature of Dragon Ball. They literally, you can have a character be dead for however long you want. As long as you have someone with a motivation to get the Dragon Balls, to make the freaking wish, it can happen. And that's exactly how it happened. They were still able to freaking bring back Frieza because at the end of the day, why did they decide to bring back Frieza? Because Frieza was a, is still a very popular character. And... I'm not gonna lie, and this is the last thing I will say about Cell possibly being that big surprise character for this movie, is that after this, they are done with nostalgia. At that point, there is no, oh, bring this back, bring that back, nah, nah, nah. Because I don't even count Cooler as a nostalgia, because they could, they could, they should write him in, because that's Freeze's freaking brother, you know what I'm saying? But Cell, has has been in talks murmurs amongst fans ever since they did, made the decision to bring frieza back they're like oh shit nostalgia Wait. sells dragon balls back let's you know let's fucking do it that's that's what i'm talking about yeah but like uh, uh, like 
Do we have any information on what the Red Ribbon Army is about? No, that's backstory? what I'm saying. Nothing. I'm just, I'm just, literally, I'm just throwing this all out there as a thought, just to kind of keep in the back of your mind because they did say there was going to be a surprise character. I don't think it's Broly. I don't think it's Gohan or Piccolo or Pan. I don't even think it's Oob at this point. I'm just saying, just imagine you sitting in the theater. This whole movie is going through, all this shit's happening, and then some crazy plot twist takes place and this guy comes back after years of not seeing him and it is like the rematch that everyone that i'm sure everyone never thought we would ever see happening and it's cell against gohan and yo imagine that at that point he would really have to really dig deep into his roots and then some because yeah. like Brandon said, yo, imagine if he comes back and he's not the same. He's stronger than before on some Zio shit. Because you can, you can, uh, the only reason I say that is because Frieza came back stronger. Well, no, he came back, but trained. That's the difference. He came oh, back okay. and then he okay. trained for like four months and then they fought <laughs> Then he unlocked golden form. So I think it was two weeks. Yeah, nah, mm, man. But like, I don't remember. Like yeah. the whole cell shit, bro. Like I just they they would really have to make that I, shit make sense. Yeah, as far as I like really because hope they don't. <laughs> because we would have to like we have to understand these guys, like yeah. the Red Ribbon Army's motives. Like yep. Like exactly. what do they have to like? Like first of all, how do they even know cell if he's coming back in this shit? Number two. That's easy. Why do they want to bring him back? Or like it, 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 like they would really have to dig deep, like backstory, whatever, like oh, whatever. There's, there's, that, yeah, that part's not hard. How do they know about Cell? Literally, there was this shit was broadcast on fucking TV. When do, do you remember that shit? If any, you yeah. If it. anything, the only thing I could see any kind of way that the Red Ribbon Army would know is if uh, the Red Ribbon Army scientists at the time knew Doctor Jero and would have. Uh, hacked Dr. Jero or done something in Dr. Jero's lab to get prints for Cell, create their own Cell, which it kind of looks like it did. I don't know what this dude's about, this freaking uh, fish looking guy. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hero 1 and 2. There's two of them, remember? Uh, oh, Heroes 1 and 2. Yeah, they both look like fish. So yeah, they, they could have done some kind of way of just saying making their own cell or whatever i like, mean can frieza be a surprise character i mean i guess where is he yes because he's out in space yeah well see he's, and these guys so, look like space goons <laughs> yeah i i i i think that freeze is gonna be reserved for this current arc they keep mentioning him we haven't seen him yet so true true I don't, next time he comes back, know. he's coming back with a new power up. I'm just like, John, no, man. Oh, yeah. Platinum Freezer all day, baby. Like it's, it's I need just to that see that simple because like, he got, he's been getting beat up. So, like. Yep, he's not trying to have that no more. Fuck all that shit. He's definitely going to go training wherever he's been this whole time. So. Cooler. And these guys literally look like fucking goons. So, like, from space and shit. So, I wouldn't be surprised if Frieza is the surprise character because that would probably make the most sense. Man, if they reserve that shit for Frieza to be the surprise, I'd be like, this is not a fucking surprise. But like, I mean, honestly, yeah, yeah. Come but on. Like, if, this if guy got his own movie. If that's the case, though, like, Gohan, he's not even close to yeah, Frieza. He, he ain't gonna <laughs> like, miss. Like, like, I don't... They, like, they, they don't even have, like, him... Like, Gohan and Frieza don't have the beef that Goku and Frieza have. Or Vegeta well, no. and Frieza have, if that makes sense. So like, definitely not. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I I'm trying to like theorize what the new character could be, or a surprise character could be. You think it could be someone from like, like from one of the previous movies? No. You think no. maybe it could be like? I mean, maybe I don't know. I, I mean, really it, these these Red Robin guys could be from another fucking universe. <laughs> he said Red Robin. <laughs> Red Robin guys. Red Robin Red guys. Like Red Robin <laughs> Young. Like, bro, like, I mean, like, imagine, like, they came from like Universe Six where Jiren is or some shit. 
because I it mean, we'll hang. see. That's the thing. Like, we, we, we could sit here all day and just speculate on exactly where these freaking goons came from, whether they were created or if they were already Earth inhabitants or anything like that. That shit has remained to be seen. Yeah. So, you know, we kind of have to... We're at the mercy of waiting for more trailers or information on more character sheets, anything like that. And at this point, the movie is literally like three months away, right? In February, March, April. In Japan, it'll be out. We still we still don't even know if that's going to be released globally in April because yeah. Japan's getting it first. So our best bet is if if we're lucky, it'll come in May. Yeah. So. Well, what, we'll, what, did, what we'll happened see. with uh, uh, Broly? Super, um, the Broly movie. Oh, so with the, yeah, so how that worked was it came out in Japan December 2018, and then it literally came out the following month, January 2019. In, the, in North America and then it was like scattered across the rest of the world months and months and months and months like it was it was elongated for a very long period of time it was crazy it's cause of how fucking god like fucking it was probably <laughs> made a lot of money too but you know a lot mm -hmm. um I'm gonna say this because this is like you you mentioned cause I like I said I didn't know anything about this movie or where it is on the timeline but mm -hmm. you were saying that this unless i heard wrong you were saying that this movie is like right before le it's like leading up into oob yeah the end of z like that 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 last episode or the last few episodes of dragon ball z where there's a 10 year skip after they defeated you know kid boo and all that yeah that's that's so where this movie should be well, if that's the case, then there's nothing for Gohan. That's it. It's game over after this movie. That's it. GG. No re. Well, no, that's the thing. That's this it. is th unless this you, unless point... they retcon the entire time skip that the end of Z has. There's no way. Like, there's no nah. way Gohan's gonna get any kind of freaking power up transformation out after this movie or during this movie. And if he does it during this movie, hurrah! It don't mean shit because Goku and Vegeta are still gods. Like at the end of the movie, he's still gonna be freaking just the same old Gohan. That he's just gonna be a protector of the world and trains Pan, maybe, and that's it. He ain't gonna like. How much time does he have left to do anything? Well, that's the thing, though. If it, if the movie, let's say the last scene is a retcon of the the last moments of Dragon Ball Z manga included, right? Because obviously that happened in the manga too. Okay, this retcon could literally serve as a fresh, in a way, restart where like some of the things that obviously already happened that are staple moments like goku sensing that oob was the reincarnation of majin buu and all that him wanting to fight him you know even pan getting to fight you know whatever like scrub kid that they you know that he that she fights um like those things could be still be met Gohan was never in that tournament to begin with. That can change. That that doesn't really matter. It's what happens after. That's the big question mark. Because obviously we already only know of GT to happen. But that's this is the, this is what makes it interesting is because dude, they could go in any direction they want and with whatever happens in this movie can progress into whatever comes next after this end of z segment so it's not necessarily like whatever happens doesn't matter that's not that's not the case at all you got to think of it like that where they're in a point where they kind of have to retcon because they already wrote themselves into a plot hole already as it is and even with the broly movie they retconned the shit out of dragon ball minus to in that, that that first scene where they showed frieza destroying planet uh the, the planet vegeta and all that stuff that whole scene with Bardock and and Gine and all that stuff, they 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 changed it up a little bit. They retconned it a little bit to make it fit. And Toriyama says this is now canon. You know what I'm saying? It could happen right right here. And I'm telling you, it's gonna have to because they already, like I said, have a fucking plot hole going on right now with how everything is lined up uh, time wise. You see, so. they, they, like 
<laughs> they I don't know how they're gonna do it, but like they're gonna have to make it make sense. Like, yeah. Like because like you're gonna tell me that Kid Buu was stronger than all these O's that we're watching right now type of thing like like no like that's what i'm saying like that's the only thing in my mind that's low-key confusing because like like after the tournament after because like boo's is, is boo technically the last villain before this fucking tournament no because that's the thing boo okay so i i i think i know what you're confused about Think of it this way, right? Even after, like, all the the people that they fought, right? They always like to reference Frieza, right? But obviously, they handled Frieza no problem. So it's like, why would you do that? I think what it really is, is just... That was a moment in time where they had, they, they, they had to fight someone that was really strong. And Goku being Goku, he just remembers that person that that you know that foe at the time as a really bad threat that it took everything out of everybody at the time to defeat this dude and so you know goku literally even said before he gave him the final blow he was like i you know hopefully one day you can come back as someone good and we can fight again right that's really all it is he just he just remembers his strong foes and he just wants to fight them for however many fucking endless times Goku wants to do that. So but and that's and that's kind of why that ties in with this whole thing towards the end of Z because you know, think about it. It's been 10 years since he felt that aura, since he felt that presence, and that's why he got all excited and he was like, "Oh, like this guy, he's the reincarnation of, you know what I'm saying?" So he gets excited, he just wants to fight this dude again because that's what he literally said those 10 years ago uh, yeah that, okay that makes that makes more sense because like <laughs> i don't know why i thought this but i was like i was like after the boo saga like what did it go straight into the tournament but nah it was not nah, that 10 year nah. i keep figuring i look 10 year gap is super shit. yeah like that everything that's been happening we've seen oh, super saying god super saying blue ultra instinct the tournament of power yeah, yeah, trunks yeah. zamsu Moro, Broly, like, dude, all this yeah, shit. All this shit's been happening. Huh. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, that that makes more sense. <laughs> I'm still tight that like Gohan isn't going to get properly trained by his father. Oh my god. He, his father spent either his life training or dead. As opposed to training his own son. The only time okay. he trained his own son was during the Cell Saga in the Hyperbolic uh -huh. Time Chamber. And it was only just to get him to Super Saiyan so that those two can fight each other. It wasn't so that freaking Goku can ascend to some kind of level. It was just getting Gohan to Super Saiyan 1. And then Goku was just like, alright, let's get stronger and beat Cell. Because I'm going to do it, right Gohan? And then he saw, oh, there's a glimpse of Gohan going Super Saiyan 2 in there. So maybe we should have Gohan deal with it at that point. That's so. Yeah, I go got some. I got some for you, Rock. So to to alleviate your your mental stress mm -hmm. right now, okay. He's gonna. He, oh, uh, just let me let me finish. He's oh, okay, Goku. Okay. Goku is going to train Oob. He's yes. going to train Oob. That is going to be the first person that Goku actually like full heartedly trains with. Now he trains and has like a student under him, as opposed to his own son. <laughs> You're get, joking I get, me. I I get it. I get it. I You're get it. But me. but so that's but that's the thing though. That's the thing. That's that's from the 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 material that we are familiar with. That could change. If I'm it not changes, saying cool. Yeah. But I'm not I'm not saying that that moment won't happen because it was so important like that I feel like that should happen because that's literally like the ending scene of Dragon Ball Z where he's flying away with Oob, right? And so What what could happen? He could still want to train with Oob and make him stronger unlock his potential because you know, he's reincarnation all that kind of stuff but based on whatever happens in this movie this could literally re reignite Goku's interest in his own kid again. 
<laughs> so, low key, low key. You know what yeah, I mean? I mean it, it, it's not even really interest towards training Gohan. It's more so how interested is Gohan to take it seriously. To where that Goku can right. feel the presence or, you know, the feel thought me. that he's putting into this shit. Yeah. Because yeah. Goku... Goku already knew Gohan was a bum after fucking Buu Saga, man. Like, yeah, that's the sad part, too. He really like, it, it's changed. It's kind of crazy, because, like, Goku literally was like, all right, I'm going to take the mantle back. Because, like, he, like, Goku literally was, I guess, a father figure trying to take the step down. He gave it to Gohan during the cell, beat cell. Loki had the opportunity to do it again, Gohan, I'm talking about. But his arrogance got in the way, whatever, Goku had to step in, finish the job himself. Or if you want to argue, the spirit bomb with the plant <laughs> with the with the the planet's energy, whatever, you know. So the people's Hercule, energy. Shout outs. So like Yeah. <laughs> like like Goku because go after that, Gohan didn't do nothing. Like he's been just chilling. So like with no no intent to train, get stronger while Goku that's his intention like so like he basically just took like retook the mantle back after he he knew what gohan was like focusing on he was fucking focusing on his school and then fucking getting a job and shit like goku's never fucking worked a day in his fucking life <laughs> no Unle well, unless unless you want to argue some farming shit for yeah, fucking the Chi -Chi. Farm. <laughs> like <laughs> that's a joke though that's fucking but yeah like Goku's gonna have to have he well, number one, if Goku's gonna Goku's not gonna ask to train Gohan. Gohan's gonna ask to Go, Gohan's yeah. gonna be the one to ask Goku to train him again. Yeah, but Goku if, has if, enough. <laughs> yeah, no, if Go if Gohan, but then it goes back to that line Gohan said before. He wants to achieve something by himself essentially that Goku and Vegeta hasn't achieved or something like that. He wants something different. So. If you want to make it make sense, Gohan is not going to ask Goku to train him. Kind of. Yeah. Like it otherwise that 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 line he said wouldn't make sense because if he if Gohan's going to train with Goku, then Goku's probably going to try and get him to achieve god form. But Gohan doesn't want that. So what else is there to do? Unless That's Goku true. unless Goku wants to think outside the box for Gohan and think of the his his next possible power up uh like by knowing what powers he has which is ultimate and just regular super saiyan shit how disrespectful like, would it be that go after the movie gohan beats this dude and whatever gohan goes up to goku saying i want to train you and goku's just like you're way too weak to train with us you need to go train with someone else because that's, <laughs> that's 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 that i feel like that's what like the status is like he's training with broly the legendary super saiyan he has Whis and beerus on speed dial and he's training with vegeta the only person to actually keep up with them he doesn't need gohan like gohan needs someone else he needs to find something else that will get him stronger and there's not much you see like goku could probably beat this man in fucking base form <laughs> and and gohan could go ultimate no challenge type shit so and if you want to give him the bump to where gohan can handle goku's base form throw on super saiyan for the fucking sakes of it as soon as he goes any further than super saiyan gohan is done bozo i wanna i you know i really i hope for the best for that ca that damn character let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. Yo, yeah. I just, I just, I just, I really, at the end of all of this, you know, this has been a long episode, rightfully so. We've been waiting for to have this guy to talk to, talk to, you, to all of us about this shit, right? Mm -hmm. But I just hope for all things that are good in this freaking world and with, with, with Dragon Ball in general, I just hope for the sake of it continuing and making it make sense i just i hope that whatever they decide to do with gohan it it is something that is evenly acceptable from all fans whether they're gohan diehards or the gohan get the fuck out of here 
you used to be a fan type dudes like these two guys right now okay because i i can't wait i hope to god that that moment does happen because it would be a great one to just see the reactions of 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 dudes like you where <laughs> like you know you can't you can't even believe it that your boy is back again once again you know what i'm saying like Listen, it, whatever happens as long as like you said as long as it's it, it's acceptable and it makes sense yeah uh, it, it, okay personally i'm not really holding my breath <laughs> i i i want to remain optimistic but they continuously let me down throughout super so i'm gonna see since he's the main focal point and he has he takes off his glasses finally we'll actually see if gohan is you know can have any kind of retribution so with all that it's been a long episode i'm not i'm, I'm sorry guys for those that are, were looking forward to getting any comments answered from the last week we'll save those for the next episode um give, give us one give us one give us one okay well then you're gonna have to give me a second to uh give me give me one and because i was gonna say i'm actually out of all go on hate juice right now i'm just like <laughs> I, I, I emptied the entire basket. I'm done. Like I can't keep talking about Gohan. We'll just go around in circles at this point. We kind of, we kind of made the character at this point. Yeah. So I'm just checking really quick. <laughs> Someone said, if there is no Gohan Blanco in the movie, I will leave the theater. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, oh wait, are these live? What do you mean? No, 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 no. Uh, you know, that's something that I, I'm glad you brought that up. That's something that I do want to eventually do. Not for every episode, but I want to have like, you know, maybe one episode a month where we go live on YouTube and whatnot. And then it'll be like, you know, an open podcast where it'll still be like us talking about this stuff, or whatever we're talking about. But then obviously we'll have chat to look at and see like how they're reacting to what we're talking about so keep that in mind again guys this is the first time that we're doing the video version with actual you guys can see us for the first time so again for any of the podcast audio only listeners more incentive for you guys to definitely check out the youtube version because now we got video to match for the very first time um okay uh, this is kind of a long comment. I do want to save this because this is, like I said, it is really long. Um, and it will probably add another like 20 minutes to this episode. Uh, if, it, if it's too much, it's all good. If it's too much, it's all good. Yeah. Um, but the one last thing, one very, very last thing, and then that's it, right? Yeah. Is I wanted to um, bring up something that you brought up, Roxo, about um, like you were saying, um, you were trying to understand like, like how Saiyans get like how they keep their strength or whatever with how like the generations go by like you know Gohan was a half Saiyan then you have a quarter Saiyan so the way I like to understand it is that and this is a this is an example shared across like a lot of things like other anime and whatnot generations are always like the the, the newer generations are always meant to surpass the last yeah that right and even if like you're a quarter saying even if you're a fucking eighth saying i think through the examples that we've seen already that's literally like like y you could literally see right then and there like it doesn't even matter as long as you have saiyan blood you don't have to be full you're gonna be like on some new sh new new shit right like as as soon as long as you're born you know what i'm saying because Gohan, think. Look at how, Go, how 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 strong Gohan was. You know, obviously up to you know a point, right? But granted, the guy wasn't fighting for seven years after that, right? Then you have Goten and Trunks, kids that were like at the age of like five and seven or something like that. They whipped out Super Saiyan at that young ass age, younger than Gohan. Then, if you want to even reference something further beyond that. Go watch the Dragon Ball GT movie where it was Goku Jr. Yeah, and yeah. Vegeta Jr. And this was the, like, just to give you perspective, Pan was a grandma at this point. 
That was dope. Not gonna cry. Yeah. yeah. Right. And we saw a future kid Goku and a future kid Vegeta fighting in a world tournament, and they literally said, "Let's go blonde." Because that was probably the best moment GT ever had. The whole, the rest of the show is fucking dog shit. No, that's not true. That's, that's not that's true. Kind of, maybe that not. Kind of. Maybe not true. You but... are bugging if you're gonna say that over my man Gogeta Super Saiyan Four, mm -hmm. over Goku going okay. Super Saiyan Four, Super that was, Seventeen. That was fucking. The I know. Super, Sa Super Seventeen sucked. Everything else was good. No. Everything else. Listen, was no, 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 no. Kid Goku was ass. Okay, that's sure. No, yes, it was, it was garbage. That's fine. But all the other shit that was fucking sick, come on. You can't say that shit. Come on now. Super the Saiyan only thing 4. that redeemed that show at all was Super Saiyan 4. Deadass. Yeah. Deadass. Yeah. That that's True. it. Yeah. It, True. That's about it. But it still doesn't make up that they fucked up. Yeah, so I mean, through. like, that's look at look at look look at how far along that, that family tree goes. We saw literally like I, I don't even I lost count of the generational like number that's like it's six generations down the line or something like that and we see like children still having the ability to go super saiyan so it's on some like devil may cry sparta shit like dante the freaking descendant of sparta the sun whatever like how that shit goes and this dude's od strong with virgil so whatever mm -hmm. so Roxo, is there anything you want to leave with the good folks at home? Anything you want to plug? Any social media accounts or any last bits of uh, comments you want to leave with the folks at home? Um, mostly just comments. I don't think anybody here would rather follow me on at Roxo the Savage on Twitter, uh, hey. Twitch, and all that stuff. But I mean, I don't really talk that much about anime on Twitter. Although I could be inclined if there's, you know people that and if there's things that i see that are interesting but regardless just keep checking out for uh uchi's series podcast this was dope and hope to be back on here soon with uh probably other hot takes i guess so i have to figure out what i consider a hot take but yeah i'm uh i'm basically all done i ain't got really much to say except uh good talk Good talk. I hope you see that Gohan sucks right now, and this movie is make or break for him. I hope you see. That is, yes. You know what? That's a really good thing to say. This is pretty much break, make or break. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's the first step. It's the first necessary step, though. Brother Uji, got anything for the folks at home? Stay fresh, stay clean, stay fit, man. Don't get your hopes up about Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, and with that... Cool. If you guys have any comments, concerns, topic ideas for us here at the Full Power Podcast, be sure to hit us up at the Gmail, which is at, or sorry, that's fullpowerpod at gmail.com, fullpowerpod at gmail.com. Leave your comments here on the YouTube version, and please respond to the polls and survey questions on the Spotify version. There's like a, a, a vast majority of you that are on the audio only versions that are literally all Spotify users. So we definitely thank you guys for listening and tuning in each and every episode that we release but well, please any sort of feedback is better than no feedback at all we definitely want to interact with you guys more so and uh we're gonna keep up with the video versions now on youtube because you know we have cameras so we're gonna make good use of them uh, we do have a couple interesting topics along the line planned for future episodes so hopefully i'm gonna we're gonna let roxo know off the air and uh hopefully uh if he's down, he'll come back, and hopefully we'll have Kai at the same time as well. So we can have this four Pete uh, going on, and um, yeah, it's been your boy Ooze, brother Ooze, my man Roxo. Make sure you like and share and subscribe, hit the freaking notification bell, and all that kind of good stuff. Supporting links in the description, and take care of yourselves, guys. May the power protect you. Luck with it right here on this podcast. We'll see you guys next time.